United States. So they, they have that still closeness with North America, Europe as well, North America, Australia, to a lesser extent. Um, but this whole technology did not stay in America now on the West Coast. It came to China and to India and to all these other countries to a lesser extent. Uh, and it is there now. It, this is where it is now. This is the center of the manufacturing industry for the mobile device space. I can't do my job unless I'm in greater China uh, because this is where everything is happening. Now, um, uh, let's go on. Let's have a little bit of a Chinese lesson. Shan Jai Ji, Beijing Opera. Um, what does Shan Jai Ji mean? Okay, this is basically, Scully mentioned it before. It's a very interesting phenomenon. But let's use the term Shanjai. Some would call me a Shanjai. I have a Shanjai spirit in many instances as well. And I think some of you have a Shanjai spirit as well. So please understand that I am neither positive, I am, I am very neutral with regard to this whole Shanjai discussion in that I'm only reporting the facts. But the, the concept of Shanjai is an interesting thing that we need to be aware of. Of course, many of these companies are just illegally counterfeiting uh, technology from uh, other vendors. Of course, yes, absolutely. Uh, but there is another element that needs to be understood here. If you want to understand the root of something, uh, you have to do the investigation, and I've done it. Okay, which, is one of the, which one is the real Apple iPhone? How do you like this? Um, so, which one is the real one? Which one? Which one is real? Do you know? Anybody know? Okay, so it's the one on the left. This one. I have one. So, what is a mobile phone? Do you know, in fact, you can actually buy a mobile phone, a Shanjai phone, that's also a shaver. So you can talk and, wait a minute, I'm going to shave and talk again. There you go. I love one of those phones. I've been looking for one. I, I, again, for the record, I do not own a Shanjai phone. I do not own one. I own three phones right now. I have a Moto Q9, which is a very good phone, Q9H. I have the iPhone 16 gig. I have a Palm Pro. Those are the three mobile phones that I own. I'd love to own a BlackBerry, but nobody from my, my friend from RIM isn't here. So anyway. Um, oh, OK. Where's Greg? I'm looking for Greg. We'll, we'll chat later. OK. So <laughs> all right. So OK, let's talk about what a Shanjai is, a Shanjai phone is. First of all, some would say it's not legal, or it's a gray area, semi-legal. It's semi-legal. What does that mean? I'll explain about MediaTek, OK? But it's not going to have the real name of the vendor, because they can be tricky. Wow, Nihan, tricky. Nokia, N-C-K-I-A, or, or Samsung, or Sam, you know, something like that. Basically, something that's close. So it looks like the real thing. Now think about this. If I'm from the third world, I'm a farmer from the third world, and I see the both handsets, and I'm trying to figure out. I don't speak English very well, and I want to buy a good handset with a lot of features. I'm going to have a tough time distinguishing the real from the fake. This is the real problem, Houston. This is the real problem. All right. So you can find all kinds of things printed on the, le on the, um, on the box, but not the real address of the manufacturer. Um, or at least not the real address of the company that made the product. And um, uh, so they have these phony names. They have uh, printed all kinds of funky things, including the features of the handset uh, on the box. Really powerful features. Wow, really cool speakers. High, high quality speakers on some of these handsets. Better than the originals. Um, and uh, they have pretty impressive innovation come going on there as well. They have the gesture sense. The, sensing, uh, the sensors for gesture um, and motion, really cool stuff that you can only see on certain handsets. And these phones have become part of the non-mainstream culture. They simply are. I see people in, the, in, the, in, the, in my, uh, in my uh, apartment uh, elevator, and I say, ah, that's a Shanjai. They say, wow, you know what that is? I say, yeah, I sure do. Let's talk about the spirit. So it's extremely creative, brave not to pay too much attention about the low profit. So if I went to, quite honestly, if I went to a Western handset manufacturer and I said, hey, I want to put a shaver in the bottom. What do you think? I would get thrown out the door. <laughs> but if I went to, if I went to, if I went to, um, 
uh, Shenzhen, and I went to the heart of Shenzhai land, and I basically went to a vendor and I said, can you make these? Uh, they would more than likely very interesting look, interestingly look at the possibility to make those. So you see the, the difference. Western vendors cannot spend their time going after what they call non-mainstream products for, for the markets they're going after because they don't just sell in China, they have to sell to the world. The, and, and many of these companies don't want to be known as selling flaky or funky kinds of cell phones. They're professional organizations. Uh, where there's a shun, shun, say, I don't care what you call them. They don't care what you call them. Um, so basically, there's a, they're creating new demand even where something didn't exist, a shaver phone. Come on. Um, nothing's impossible, and uh, they'll tackle the biggest problem. They're, they're interested to tackle the biggest problem. Now, the, the way to succeed, basically, there's a lot of multi-level and diversified market channels in China, and they're going after them. Mobile phones have become an everyday consumable item. Of course, we all have them. And um, uh, this is, both, so for any, any news, any reporters in, the, uh, in here today, this is the quote that I usually use. We're witnessing the rise of the hacker entrepreneurs, uh, and it's the classic Silicon Valley legend taken to the back streets of, Sheng, of Shenzhen, which is truly what's happening. All right, this is Shenzhen Guo. <laughs> this, is the, this is the center. So if you're looking for it, you want to know where it is? Here it is, all right? All right. Now, let's talk about Taiwan. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tread lightly. Taiwan is the golden egg that basically China uses. Taiwan inside. Kind of like Intel inside, but not, not exactly. All right. So, largest handset market, right? China ships 8 million handsets per month. Interesting, okay? And since 2007, this, uh, these kind of, kind of, kind of like white box, they're calling them white box, by the way, gray market white box vendors. It's another way to say Shenzhen, okay? Uh, they've captured a huge amount of uh, the market. MediaTek, Lianfake, Lianfake MediaTek is a Taiwanese company that is creating disruptive inner innovation in the society uh, here in China with their chip for the mobile handset industry. Started with Tianyu. I will show you how Tianyu came from a baby, Shenzhen, to birth as a global brand, or close to a global brand anyway, that, that's their aspiration. All right, um, now these cheap banded phones, they're carved out a massive niche for themselves in China, and they're going after rural environment. Uh, uh, they're going after these rural subscribers as well. Uh, they're cheap, and these rural people don't read uh, Wall Street Journal every day, or, so they're not knowing that they're actually Shenzhen. Well, they don't care either. So, um, these 900 million rural dwellers, that's the market that everyone's going after. Nokia, Moto, everyone's going after those because everybody in coastal China knows what a cell phone is. They know, hello Moto, everybody knows what that is and also the Nokia handset. So, um, uh, but technically 250 million Shanghai handsets were produced in 2008. Now, nobody in the world can actually give you an exact figure not even, not even Carl Weaver, but I'm getting real close. I say 200, 200 to 250 million of these were, uh, were sold in 2008. That's my estimate. This is the annual output for handsets. And as you can see, it's continuing to, to, continuing to rise. Seven, almost, seven, almost 700 million handsets, over 600 million handsets right now in China. And uh, this is some newer information. This is March 2009 for the ranking. Of course, Nokia is still at 31%, at, at, uh, still number one. Samsung's number two. Moto, number three. But look what Tianyu, Tianyu Lantong is number four. Uh, Zhongxing, uh, Zhongxing, and, uh, and LG, and then Huawei. You might say, Huawei? What's the story with Huawei? Well, Huawei doesn't really sell handsets inside China. This is their first venture to sell.